Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to St. Pius X Church for the Eucharistic celebration of the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please turn off your cell phones if you haven't already done so, and please stand and greet your neighbor. Good evening. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us bring to our mind our sins and ask God mercy and forgiveness so that we may become worthy to offer this sacrifice. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. You are 
Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father, bring we pray to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The night of the Passover was known beforehand to our fathers that with sure knowledge of the oaths in which they put their faith they might have courage. Your people awaited the salvation of the just and the destruction of their foes. For when you punished our adversaries, in this you glorified us whom you had summoned. For in secret the holy children of the good were offering sacrifice and putting into effect with one accord the divine institution. The word of the Lord. Blessed the people. The Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. Exalt you just in the Lord. For praises from the upright is fitting. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to be his own. A reading from the book, Letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place 
that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned to the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect is the maker of God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age. And Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sands on the seashore. All these died in faith. They did not receive what they had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar and acknowledged themselves to be strangers and aliens on earth. For those who speak thus show that they were seeking a homeland. If they'd been thinking of the land from which they had come, they would have had an opportunity to return. But now they desire a better homeland, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it is said. And he received Isaac back as a symbol. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not be afraid any longer, little flock, for your Father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Sell your belongings and give alms. Provide money bags for yourselves that do not wear out, an inexhaustible treasure in heaven that no thief can reach nor moth destroy. For where your treasure is, there also will your heart be. Gird your loins and light your lamps, and be like servants who await their master's return from a wedding, ready to open immediately when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds vigilant on his arrival. Amen, I say to you, he will gird himself and have them recline at table and proceed to wait on them. And should he come in the second or the third watch and find them prepared in this way, blessed are those servants. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? 
And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food and allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Truly, I say to you, the master will put the servant in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming, and began to beat the manservant and the maidservants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of a person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, probably an old story, and you have heard this uh, several times. This old man, he was really rich, and uh, he realized he was going to die soon, and then uh, sold all his property and uh, bought the, the, kept the money and the gold, everything, in the attic, and he told his wife, on my way up, I will pick them all. <laughs> Few weeks after his uh, death, his uh, wife was cleaning the attic, and... Uh, she found all these money bags and gold and she said loud, surely he didn't go through the attic. He must have gone through the basement. <laughs> Let's leave that there anyway. <laughs> the first, uh, well, Jesus says, your father is pleased to give you the kingdom. Actually, the original Greek should be a bit more stronger than, stronger than that. Should be, your father is determined to give you the kingdom. So he is giving it to you, but you have an option. You can say no. You can say no. But it's coming, you can say no. The first reading is interesting. It's all about faith, hope, and charity. Let's put that way. The first reading, the people of Israel, they are going to celebrate the first Passover. And the angel of God will come only afterwards. And then they, he will liberate them. But these people are singing the praise of their liberation already. Before the liberation, they are singing the praise of liberation. You know what that is? Because their deep faith in the God that he will liberate. So you are singing the victory song even before the victory happens. Deep faith in God and his promises. That same we see with Abraham. In all humanly possible ways, everything was impossible. There was no reason for Abraham to believe in anything. God informed him. But he believes. Even humanly, it's, everything is impossible, but he believes because it comes from God. God is the foundation of faith. God is the object of hope. And God is the source of charity. And when we speak about faith, it's something we don't see. But we believe it is there, right? Let's put simply, faith is, it's there, but we cannot see it. Just a simple thing to get, help us understand. It is not there, well, it, it, it is there, but we cannot see it, but it is there, I believe it is there. Imagine at night you go out, take a grain of sand, grain of sand, just tiny thing, keep it this way, look at the sky, a dark spot in the sky, 
through that grain. Can you see anything there in the sky? Only that much. Tiny grain of sand. You look that much space in the sky, usually you don't see anything there, right? Do you follow me? A grain of sand, that arm, your arm's length, and that much space that covers the sky, just tiny grain. Is there anything? Many a time you don't see anything there, right? Okay. She's not saying anything. Okay. <laughs> but that's what we all thought till the invention of telescope. A month ago, July 11th or 12th and 12th, we came to know that in the sky, that much space, the James Webb Space Telescope was able to see thousands of galaxies. In my sight, there is nothing. But the the telescope was able to see thousands of, when I say thousands of galaxies, every galaxy has millions of stars. So, that much space in the sky where I think there is nothing, there can be billions of stars. And those things are there, we can say that this light is actually, of course it's infrared, we cannot see the light either because it's not in our spectrum. Infrared. That left those galaxies some 13.3 billion years ago. That means if you go there now, maybe they are not even there anymore. That's just our empirical world. The material world, it's there, but we don't see there, and therefore we say it's not there. It's based on I see or I, I don't see it. Now coming to the, the faith, it's the same. We can say it's not there because I don't see it there. But God reminds you always, hey, I am here. I am here. I am with you. And that's a gift. So the telescope with which we see, observe the universe, is in us, in the spiritual world, it's called faith. Faith is the telescope that we all have given to us by God through which if we look into realities we will be able to see the presence of God. Without which it's, there is nothing, is emptiness. With that we see. And God is promising us several things in our life and mainly it's always et life and eternal life. That's the promise we say hope. He promises life, eternal life for me. And again, it's something that he is giving, giving me always. I can always say no. God, I don't want it. That's my option always. That's your option always. And of course, charity, the other virtue is simply, we know that God loves, loves us. We experience the love of God. And we know God loves others. Therefore, I join him in loving him and loving others. That's simply charity. We experience the love of God. We experience the mercy of God. And therefore, we share it with others. Charity and mercy. There can be two approaches with this. Number one, with all that we have. Number one approach is, well, this world is bad, right? This world is bad. I said two approaches, so be careful, okay? Number one is, this world is really bad. Everything in this world is bad. All the people are bad. Right? Yeah, because, there is, and because of that, there is no meaning in doing anything in this world. And wait for heaven, eternity, that's a piece of pie in the sky, and you will get that after you die. Right? 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 The other approach is it's all about this world. There is no pie there in the sky. You won't get anything after you die. It's all about in this world. So, 
It everything starts with your birth and everything ends with your death and there is nothing so enjoy marry and that's it. Right? Right? So I said two approaches. Neither one is the right approach. What is the right approach? This world is not created by devil. This world, this whole universe is created by God. And he found everything good. So the universe is good. This world is good. And you are created by God in his image and likeness. Therefore, you are not bad. Are you bad? We fail. We fall. But we are not bad. Because we are created by God in his image and likeness. And he found you good. You are not bad. You fall. You fail. That's a different story. This world is good. You are good. Your life is good. The proper approach is live today our life fully. With all the resources that we have. Knowing that we are stewards of what we have. Because the place where the, the, the land where you have your building your house, it belonged to some dinosaurs millions of years ago. Right? Yeah, it's your land, it's your property, but there, those animals lived. It was their property. But they are gone. We will also be gone. We are stewards of all that we have. And we work with God. And he is giving us this kingdom. This world is good. This life is wonderful. And this life continues to eternity in him, with him, through him. Let us proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come, Amen. We thank Almighty God for our life and blessings and we ask him to give us the grace so that we may continue to be one with him. For the church, may God help us to grow in holiness and be a light that leads many souls to salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For government leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide them to wise decision making as they strive to bring peace to our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. 
for refugees and immigrants fleeing violence or poverty. May the Lord look graciously upon them and provide them places of welcome and respite. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who minister to the sick in this faith community, may God's grace strengthen them in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the continued generosity of our community may assist those who are most in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they come to share in the fullness of the risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this Mass, which are for the health and welfare of Carol Jones. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let's offer our own prayers. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, 
and by your power you transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty of salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of a downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy alone, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we describe and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. 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 
at the Savior's command and for my divine issue we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Oh. 
May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, we have a special uh, birthday celebration today. Wanda Finnegan is celebrating her fifth birthday, right? Well, I put, I, I don't want to say the numbers, so I put the numbers together, you put them together, you count them together, and then you add them together, and finally you will get one letter number. And that's five. Thank you very much for all you do do for uh, do for our parish. Well, a few months ago she came and told me that she was going to retire soon, so she will have a lot of time. 
Well, I asked her, well, then uh, take care of uh, the food to the people who are sick. And then also take care of the people who are new to the parish. And she said, okay. And finally, she's doing that. Plus, she became the president of uh, the Vincent de Paul Society. And she, with uh, another uh, 10 plus volunteers, are doing a wonderful job. As for the, for, for the information, uh, we kind of separated the Vincent de Paul from our parish office. Now it functions more like the Knights of Columbus. It's an independent uh, agency under the parish, but a standalone reality. And she is heading that. So thank you very much for all you do for uh, the parish. <laughs> the Lord be with you. Thank you to the Spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruins of souls. Amen. Oh, oh.